What is up YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com and in this video I wanted to do a tutorial on Word Hero and their long form editor. Recently they made some changes to their long form editor which makes it easier to create content. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we start, I just wanted to mention that if you're interested in Word Hero, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can get the lifetime membership. If you go to their regular website, you're going to get uh, their monthly. But if you go ahead and click on the link below, it'll bring you to this special lifetime deal. I don't know. I'm not sure how long they'll have it for. So the starter lifetime starter is 89 one time and the lifetime pro, which gives you access to the uh, editor. So I'll put a link in the description if you're interested, but let me take you back to word hero. So with the short form, you'll get access to all these templates. But for this video, we're going to go into the editor. So right here on the actual editor, you click it. So this is where you would create an article. So for this video on the top right, you have writing tools. So you can click on the writing tools and have, they're all here. You can go ahead and click uh, B for blog and it'll bring everything up related to the blog. And then they have keyword assistance so you can add a keyword. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and start with blog topic. So just to make it simple for a topic that's very familiar. Oops, not that one. Let's do how to start a blog for beginners. So this would be just a blog topic, and it would give it would bring up uh, titles for the blog. All right, so here it brought up some some titles for the blog. It says uh, why you should start a blog, how to come up with blog with ideas for your blog let's go the beginner's guide to starting a blog so if i actually click on it it's going to copy it and I paste it so right here on the top right or on the top here you have where you can create a blog outline blog paragraphs or you can write more so for this one i'm just going to show you real quick if we were here i can just click on blog outline and it's going to bring me it's going to create an outline for this article okay so it created a blog outline and you have here uh, why should you start a blog how to come up with the blog topic picking blog picking a blogging platform setting up your blog creating content for your blog promoting your blog and then a conclusion so for this video i just want to show you what i normally do and to create an outline because you're looking for an seo optimized outline so what i like to do is i, I head over to surfer.seo or serverseo.com and if you like to try out surfer seo i'll put a link in the description as well but they do have a free tool so when you go to surfer you go here to product and they have these free tools They have the AI outline generator. So what I did is I went ahead and clicked on that, which creates an outline for you. And it's SEO optimized. So right here, it brings a H1. It'll give you a title and then headings H2s. So what you can basically do, basically do is click the ones that you like and then go ahead and select copy. So just for right now, I'm going to select them all and we'll go ahead and and pick the ones we want. So I'm going to go back to the editor and I'm going to leave these here as well, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here. Oops. Just so we can have more um, headings if we need it. Let me go ahead and remove that. We don't need these either. Okay. All right, so I just put them there right now. So if we need, if we want to use them, so we basically have all these here as headings for the article. So we'll go ahead and um, start with. Uh, here's the first one they gave us. Why should you start a blog? So as 
easy as this is you just go ahead and highlight that and you go ahead and hit the H2 and it'll create it as an H2. So once you highlight the H2, you go ahead and click on blog paragraph and it's going to create a par paragraph for that H2 heading. Okay, so I went ahead and created this first uh, intro paragraph. There are, there are many good reasons to start a blog. First, it's a great way to share your thoughts and ideas with the world. Second, and it, can, it can help connect with other like-minded people. Third, it's a great way to promote your business or website. And fourth, it can be a great source of income. If you're not convinced, here are the 10 way, reasons why to start a blog. So you can actually go down and it'll create the 10 but for right now we're just going to go ahead and remove this that'll be the intro one there and now we can start with the next one so you can go right into picking a plat click picking a blogging platform or you can pick one of these so i'm going to go ahead and why do people start blogs so i'm going to go ahead and paste that here make it an h2 and then hit the uh, blog paragraph and then give it a few seconds. Okay, so I went ahead and, and wrote a few paragraphs for this here. It says there are many there are, there are a number of reasons why people start blogs. Some people started blogs to share their personal stories, while others use them as a platform to share their expertise on a particular subject. Some people also start blogs as a way to connect with their like-minded individuals or to build an online community around a common interest. So that's pretty good content there. All right, so that one would do the why do people start? And then I can start picking uh, how to, uh, now let's go right into how to start a blog. I'll go ahead and copy that. And right now already we're at 399 words. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next heading. Make it an H2 and you go ahead and hit the paragraph. So it's starting to type to give me a few paragraphs here. Alrighty, so it gave me a total of four small paragraphs. So let me see if I can use these paragraphs. It says how to start a blog. Blogging is a great way to, to share your thoughts, expertise. Okay, so it's kind of giving me the same information there. Starting a blog is easy and only takes a few minutes. You can start a blog for free on platforms like WordPress or Blogger. Okay, so I'm gonna re. I'm gonna remove this first one there. And basically, I would do the same thing going down down the line here. So the the other great thing is that you can actually write more. So let's just say this paragraph here, if I wanted to write more, I would highlight it and I would hit write more and it would create more content for that paragraph or that, that section. So I added this, the peer to peer concept. Um, okay. All right. So I typed something that's not related. So what you can also do is you can also also start typing and let it finish. So the example I'll give you it would be um, starting a blog can be. And I'm gonna go ahead and the cursor is there, so I'm gonna go ahead and click write more. So it will finish my sentence. So I, I went ahead and put starting a blog can be a great way to make or 
can be and then it, it, it typed a great way to make money if you already have a blog why not add affiliate links okay so add it a little bit more so what i'm going to do right now so don't waste all the, waste a bunch of time on this video i'm going to go ahead and create a few more and then i'll jump back on here for the conclusion so the magic of video editing i'll be back in a second okay i'm back now and i was able to write 2100 words using word hero i'm going to go ahead and go back to the top just so i can show you what i've gotten so it's the beginner's guide to a to starting a blog why should i start a blog what is a blog and why should i start one why people start blogs and then it has what should i know before starting and then how to start uh, find a niche picking a blog platform pick a hosting platform select a blog name and domain name creating content for your blog setting up and design your blog start with keyword research how to write your first blog post and then how to promote it and how to share your content somewhere other than social media it goes into detail there so then we have the conclusion here so here are some of the other uh, headings that i didn't use and i, I was i went ahead and re deleted the ones that i've used so then finally conclusion so you can actually like I said just highlight conclusion and go ahead and create a paragraph or you can come over here to the left and you can actually put your main title here it's the beginning guide for starting a blog and i'll go ahead and hit write for me and then i have it creates two here to choose from and you can thumbs up or thumbs down and it'll create other content for you so i'm going to go ahead and use this one here and add add that conclusion it's very small there but what i'm going to go ahead and do is delete all this oops so up to this point i haven't wrote any sentences myself so we're already like i said at 2000 words right here at the conclusion i would go ahead and give it a little bit more detail and that quickly like i said i was able to write 2000 words with the word hero uh, long form editor if you're actually interested in giving it a try like i said i'll put a link in the description just a reminder this is a this is a lifetime uh one-time payment and it generates unlimited content every month so there's no uh, w monthly word count that's one of the reasons why this one is you know one of the best for two reasons number one it's a one-time payment and number two is you can create unlimited content as you can see quickly i was able to write 2,000 words and it's it's good quality content here you just have to guide it a little bit also if you're interested in surfer seo i'll put a link in the description and just a reminder if, if you ever want to use the, the free tool just head over to surfer seo under products they have two free tools here they have the ai outline generator and they also have a keyword surfer extension so if you're interested in that check those out all right so that's the end of the video if you enjoyed this video please do me a favor go ahead and hit like subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comments um, let me know what you thought about the video and i will catch you in the next video thanks for watching